What's up, Block Fam? Welcome to today's episode where we are unpacking, organizing all of these tools and putting them into a mechanics cart. You told him to be here this early? No, I didn't tell him to be here this what early. What the f is he doing here already? Jeez, oh f***ing Pete, man! Mother f what time is it? You, what the f are you doing? So we have a unexpected guest. I'm pretty sure I said afternoon. Up, That's all right. What well, time is it? What, up, what time is it? We said a, power time. Get we, the out. We said afternoon, bro. It's 11 a.m. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put you to work then. Hell yeah. Welcome to the shop. <laughs> So if you guys didn't see the previous episode, we went to Harbor Freight, I took Chris there. It was awesome because, you know, he mostly has really high-end snap-on tools, Mako. Yeah, he did, he did buy a couple things. So we got to mention the shirt. And this. This, this Tommy shirt. Bahama Vintage 96. 1996. This is a medium in 96. Hold the yeah, arms out. this is a medium. Look at this. In 1996. <laughs> it does make you look bigger. <laughs> Bro, when, I'm telling you, you watch, like, I know people out there don't watch golf, probably like I do, but when you watch some of the older sh and you see, I think I mentioned like Tiger Woods or Tom Kite, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But they all have like these extra baggy shirts and you're like, damn, yeah. they were holding it down on the on the golf course and come to find out that's just how shit was cut. <laughs> like <laughs> the difference of style between now and then. Like we were, they yeah. were Dude, Jinkos, who remembers Jinkos? Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. I should have those on with this shirt. Right? Ooh, That'd fit. <laughs> All right. all right like i was saying in that previous episode if you guys didn't see it we went to harbor freight ended up buying like all of these tools for like under a thousand bucks uh not the drill and the impact though as well as the um tool cart funny thing here they actually advertise fifteen thousand cubic inches of storage it's basically a very similar cart to what chris says here so essentially we're is, but we'll see not quality wise but like just you know this thing is this thing's circa 1996 too actually <laughs> it's been to alaska and back three times it's been beat up one of the things about his cart is it does have all four rotating uh, caster wheels. So we're basically gonna take the um, wheels off of this one, replace them with these. So a little shop hack for those of you guys that are looking to maybe set up a mechanics cart. Yeah, it is useful to have one of these as I've experienced, you know, with working with Chris, um, I used to just have one like my shelves, like in the house, but being able to roll it around and take it to wherever you're working is incredibly useful. And then, you know, you can also still have, you know, your own larger one against the wall like that for like you know bigger main tools but for the stuff that you're using all the time this is incredibly efficient so we're going to show you guys basically us setting this up and then putting all the tools into it organizing it so that it's efficient i guess we do need an organizer so we're, we're going to buy a couple more things all right so check this out guys since we're using the uh swivel casters on this one instead of the original ones the holes on the base don't quite line up. So I am having to drill two new holes. So I'm basically using the two previous holes since those ones do line up there and there. I'm placing it on the inside and then I'm drilling two new holes there and there. What's up guys, it's a new day and I am going ahead and organizing some more of the tools. So over the weekend, I did end up ordering this off of Amazon, which is like an organizer for a wrench set, which is pretty cool because it actually has uh, standard and metric sizes and you're supposed to be able to take the end of the wrench, put it on here, move it up and then drop it in place. Uh, also, we have a organizer for sockets. So this will pretty much go in the top here. Since we use wrenches quite often, I'm gonna put this towards the top. So that'll basically set nicely in there also i brought a bunch of stickers so that we can sticker bomb the hell out of the tool chest all right guys so this thing that i got from amazon is not working out because we've got way too many half inch socket pieces and not that many half inch sockets and not enough of the three eighths so basically these are all three eighths these are three eighths and then these are all half I actually had to move a lot of these halves from the like this spot the layout just doesn't really make sense to me so went by harbor freight and got this it's a multi-rail socket tray so pretty much the same thing right so like all of these are half these are three-eighths these are quarter and then we got more three-eighths and more half 
So the cool thing about ordering or getting stuff from Harbor Freight is that it's local and you can actually go in and pick it up versus ordering this off of Amazon. I can't just go to a store and get more of the, uh, the pieces that I need. So what you do is you go to Harbor Freight, right? You buy the base and then you can basically buy more of these strips which have these little metal pieces on it for three eighths. So I'm gonna take those off of here. I'm gonna slide them onto here because essentially it's the same thing, right? So I got more three eighths and then I also got more uh, of the quarter inch as well. So I can have enough spots for all these uh, smaller ones, which are quarter. So it's all about just kind of like finding what works for you. A lot of people probably would be able to use this, but I'm gonna pretty much take this back, take all the sockets off, transfer them over to here, put it in the tool cart. Also the thing that I used earlier for the wrenches, uh, I have found Kind of annoying whenever you close it the wrench is all slide around so it's like you close it when you open it's like they're all disheveled we also got some magnetic holders so i'm going to basically put these to here so that i'm able to take stuff like these adapters put them up like that it is going to require i think drilling through here. Also got a flex head, 3 8 inch ratchet, and a, a little shelf to go on the side, just because it's super useful. So, and continue with all this. The joys of setting up a new toolbox. All right, guys, day three of working on the tool chest, and I uh, got a bunch of stickers, so I'm gonna just go ahead and sticker bomb. Just kind of stickers I've collected over the years. We got some stuff from Sub D, TC Bros, Got some from Attack 2 Convention, Her Two Wheels, John Maxwell, you guys remember him, In and Out Burger. Check this out, this is probably one of my favorite stickers. PlayStation. <laughs> All right, there we have it, guys. So we've sticker bombed the hell out of the backside, and then uh, we do have the inside sticker bombed as well, a little bit, but we need more stickers. Got a couple over here. And you know, I'll stick stickers as we basically get them in and like I'm ordering parts and stuff is coming in, but man, it's funny. Putting all these stickers on here, like I just had a bunch collected, right? And so it's kind of like going through memory lane. I've just collected them over the years. Wow, there you go. Kind of crazy. Kind of tried to group, had like moto vloggers and stuff. Her two wheels, John Maxwell, Harley Tech, Photogrammer, Walt Terrific, this is Cat. Weens, Dad and Mad, two-way stuff here, some Roush, Z Garage, also motor vlogger. I'm gonna use this one a lot when talking and responding to comments. <laughs> there we go. A little more organizing to do for here, but nearly done. All right, guys, this has taken a really long time to get to the point of continuing to organize this. And it's funny, in the initial video where we went and we bought all these tools, one of the comments said that we will basically be organizing this forever, or I will basically be organizing this forever because it's like, it changes. And so using this, the tools that I bought working on my buddy Kenny's bike, I did notice a lot of things that I would potentially change to kind of increase the productivity and the workflow. One of the things that I have noticed is with these organizers that I bought, so you guys can see these organizers. With this one, it's awesome because it's like these things, they, they stay pretty solid, but it doesn't require me to like fight too much to pull them up. Whereas with these ones, it's like lifting up the whole damn thing. And it's like, I have to essentially use my knuckles on here to like press against the other sockets to pull one up. I would rather it be quality and me not have to fight the tools uh, whenever I'm going to use them. So like these ones, you know, it's not, not that difficult to pull these off but this one is kind of a pain. Harbor Freight versus whatever this one is on Amazon. So I do still have more organizing to go. Uh, I've got these larger sockets, which I pulled out of bottom of this kit. So this kit comes with an absolute ton of sockets and it's nice and organized well in here, but whenever you try to transfer it over to a tool cart, this is what you're, you're left with, trying to basically get them all organized here. I tried to do standard on the left and metric on the right, and there's a spot where I found that I mixed those up and so I have to reorganize those. And then in addition, I've got all of the rest of these to organize as well. I already lost my T25. Like, I don't know how the hell it's already gone. We were using a lot of these tools to build the dyno room, uh, which is still in progress, but 
yeah, somehow the T25 is gone. So I've got to get all the rest of those organized onto these. I've got to get these organized somewhere as well. These are like the uh, e-sockets and star bits. I did buy another organizer from Harbor Freight. Not sure if I'll use that. There's definitely going to be changes coming up to this thing. There's literally like no way that I could just end this episode being like, there you go, perfectly organized because uh, this is just going to change exactly like that person commented on in the comment section. This is going to be just like an evolving beast. We got it all nice and sticker bombed. To be totally honest, I kind of don't prefer the stickers on the inside here because whenever I'm going to grab a tool from up here, I'm finding that I like really have to like look at it instead of like whenever it was just a black background, it was much more pronounced. So I don't know if these stickers will stay like probably now that they're on there, but uh, when I'm looking for something, I, I feel like I do have to look a little bit harder in that instead of just being like, boom, that one grabbed. So it makes it a little harder to see them. That's one of those inefficiencies that I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, I found out as I'm using it. That's everything out of the 301 piece kit. These are actually some duplicates. Uh, so I'm just going to take this. I'm going to throw this in my truck just because it's, you know, nice to have just in case. I've used it once, loving it so far. The ability to basically roll it around on the four swivel caster wheels. There was a pretty good debate on that first video where people were talking about, uh, buying you know harbor freight tools versus buying like higher quality like snap-on one of the things i said in that video was like you know harbor freight is for like a hobbyist whereas snap-on is for like a professional so chris being a professional working on these uh bikes and doing just like frame up builds on them which is crazy obviously it makes sense like since he's been doing this for almost 26 years to have top tier level stuff now me i work on my own stuff more than i work on anybody else's stuff so chris is basically like the person that is focused on customer builds i do help when it comes to design parts and stuff like that whenever it comes to wrenching i'm usually just focused on uh, my own stuff not not this bike this is uh, nick's bike beautiful it's uh, actually a bike that chris built but you know like trans am i'm going to be working on the indian the harley my grom the chopper the honda if you have any thoughts opinions recommendations for efficiencies here let me know comment down below i would greatly appreciate it two thousand years later check it out guys i actually continued organizing it beyond that last video this is pretty much where i'm at incredibly satisfying getting it to this point but this was a lot of work the only things that i have left to organize are these pieces here there's definitely some redundancies in here that i would continue to organize in the future but at the moment that's what it looks like so top drawer i've got mallets cut off wheel Next top drawer on the left, we've got smaller stuff, pliers, uh, smaller screwdrivers. And then this is going to be tape. So we've got tape drawer. Boop. Wrenches, snap ring pliers, shears, scissors, or tin snips, vice grips, extensions, torque wrench. And then this is like the power tools, screwdriver, impact, jigsaw, and sawzall. Some bit sets and extra blades stapler in the bottom the battery that goes to a bike i've got a strap some great stuff paper towels funnel got all your ratchets here as well as a little small pry bar you got larger pry bars on the left side here then screwdrivers a couple of magnetic extension pieces just in case you drop something like in the engine bay and all that some smaller screwdrivers uh bit set razors which crazy useful you can buy those for like a couple cents at like ace hardware allen keys bit set wrenches for your uh, cutoff wheel adapters swivel sets and then uh, socket adapters pretty much organized and done up the way i want plenty satisfying seeing this to the level that it is just got these left and then that is it there you guys have it if you have any questions let me know drop them down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the video enjoy zuko making an appearance be sure to hit the like button <laughs> hey bud want to see more content like this hit the subscribe button it is free to subscribe youtube is telling us that 70 percent of you guys that are watching this stuff are not subscribed so hitting the subscribe button is free be sure to click that to continue to see content like this motorcycle content car content you know blockhead garage content all the good stuff i think that about wraps it up thanks for watching till next time you guys ride safe out there stay vigilant catch you guys in the next one peace Thank you.